I don't remember if I said this earlier, but I am a New Jersey native born oh my and bred goodness. from Yeah, from Northwest New Jersey up in Sussex County. Know it well. I'm actually the neighbor at in Passaic County. So we go oh, to Oh, okay, yeah. Sussex for all the 4H County Fair shows in the summer. It's really yeah. lovely. My kids are kind of into horses, yeah. so it's definitely the place to be. If you love farmland and horses and just nature, I love it. Thank you. I appreciate that because you know the reputation that New Jersey has. And yet I grew up in what is literally the garden state because I miss driving on those mountains, Mm -hmm. especially in the autumn when the leaves would just turn to those beautiful shades of the red and the oranges and the golds up against the blue, blue sky. And I'd just be roller coasting on those back roads. I, I genuinely miss that. So anyway, hi, we're old neighbors then. <laughs> I that. know. Yeah, 100%. It's it's so interesting because I'm only about 45 minutes away from New York City, but it is night yeah. and day. You know, I agree with mm-hmm. you 100%. I'm right in the mountains. My backyard is a lake. You really, you don't yep. get much more rural than where I'm at. Maybe then yep. Sussex County is a little bit more rural than where I am. It but. is. Yes. <laughs> it, yeah. I distinctly remember that it was a 10 minutes and I would just be in the middle of farmland and 15 to 20 minutes, it was like 20 minutes, would finally get me to the Rockaway Mall. Yes. So, I mean, I love where I live in Maryland now and my easy access to D.C., but of course I did also hop on the train into New York as often as possible as well. Oh, back in the day. I miss Those the city. The days, it's weird right? to me. Yeah, it's weird to me that my kids have never been to New York City, but I grew up with it like easy access. That is My husband's the same. My, my husband grew up in New Jersey. I did not. I grew up in Pittsburgh. So I okay. hadn't went to New York City until I was 16. And for him, whenever I told him that, he's like, you're kidding. So much of a part of my upbringing, we would go into the city during you know, holiday time, catch a show, do dinner, walk around. There were field trips. We'd go to museums. Yeah, we did none of that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, yeah, that was me too. Yeah. I miss, I miss the easy access to Broadway. Uh. Such but I gift. do love the Shakespeare Theater down here in D.C. My husband and I have been to several um, Shakespearean plays. So oh, that's awesome. Fun times. Yeah. So I'm sorry. We totally random stuff to throw in at the beginning of our episode. Um, so a little <laughs> talk New Jersey little all day. <laughs> right. Exactly. I'm just I'm glad for people to like get a taste of the real New Jersey. I don't yeah. I honestly I didn't even figure out how to get onto the turnpike until I was like in my 20s because it's nowhere near me. Yeah, absolutely. You know, people always yeah. ask me, what exit are you by and what mall right? are you by? And I'm like, yeah. uh, none and none. None and none. <laughs> exactly. That was me too. I was like, I don't know how to get to the turnpike. Yeah. Um, like people actually so, use that in New Jersey. I, I don't know. Right? I'm not aware. I don't know yeah. No, I was 206 <laughs> all the way. <laughs> Proud 206. Okay. You know, wait, fun real quick. I'm sorry. We're, we're going to get to writing in a second. I promise. Uh, <laughs> Diners. I miss the diners. Oh, Oh, like, do people know that New Jersey is the diner state? And like, after prom or school dances, and you just go to the diners and get French toast and burgers and like everything that was cheap and delicious and amazing. I actually, my husband was traveling this past week and I had a babysitter coming one night because I was supposed to take my one daughter to gymnastics and then the other daughter Mm. was going to stay home with the babysitter and then the gymnastics schedule kind of changed. So I had a little time (laughs) and I didn't want to cancel the babysitter because you know how that goes, right? Uh So (laughs) I actually decided to go to our local diner alone and oh. enjoy a book while I ate an omelet and mm-hmm. just kind of sat there in peace and soaked it all in and, you know, yep. looked at the all the beautiful displays of all of these like wonderful desserts that they put together that, you know, they must like build these cases just for New Jersey because the cakes, yes. if anybody's not familiar or have never been... I've never seen cakes or pies this tall. They're like one piece is like this high, (laughs) you know? Yes. 
rainbow cake and I don't even know how you stuff a pie that much, you know? It's I like no I was trying to figure out the physics of all of it. I was I was sitting there, man, you know, munching on my omelet and drinking some tea, but yeah, I'm yeah. right there with oh. you. <laughs> and with the mini jukebox, all the little mini jukeboxes in the individual booths and you just yes. throw in those quarters and you get to listen to your little song. Oh, God. all right. Sorry, the nostalgia's kicking in. Bon Jovi's always on there too, yes. right? Like Yes, absolutely. Oh, how I crushed on him. Oh, Bon Jovi. Is there any Part chance of the bon Apgar Jovi test to here? You know, if you come out, they they check you all over and then you just got to do the fist bump, you know? Exactly. If not, you're deported to Pennsylvania. <laughs> That's so true. That's so true. Um, oh, I love it. Other night, my best friends got married in in PA, and so we went to the Strousmore. Oh my gosh, I'm going down memory lane way too much. I'm sorry, but Strousmore has the most amazing bread pudding on the face of the planet. Okay, moving on to writing. <laughs> moving we on need to another writing. episode. Just we could just talk about New Jersey and food. Yeah, and Bon Jovi. Oh, that would be bon pretty Jovi. awesome. Love it. That would be. That would be. Okay, last random, random, random bit. My very first concert in New Jersey was actually Chubby Checkers, and I was a little girl, and he pulled me up on stage, and I got to do the twist with him. Oh, that mm -hmm. is amazing. Super Good incredible. Girl. And of course, random. it was like before the time where you could actually catch it, you know, and have that mm -hmm. forever. You know, now it's just, I tell my kids these things that happened to me, and they're always asking me, let me see it on your phone. Yes. <laughs> I'm like, uh, that didn't happen then. Like, how do we know that you're not lying? Like, you're making all of these large claims, but there are, are no pictures and yeah. there's no video. So how do we know that you're actually telling the truth? Like, yeah, we, oh. we kind of built memories then, you know, like in our brain. Yes. <laughs> you know, new concept. Yes. For right. Kids. It's going to. It's going to appear in a book in the future somewhere. Yes. Me being on stage with Chubby Checkers or like a character. And I almost changed my entire novel setting to make her come from New Jersey just so I could have her reminisce about the diners. And I was like, oh. no, I can't change everything in my book, every reference to <laughs> Maryland. And what she works at, she works in D.C. as a professor. And I'm like, no, I cannot. That is way too <laughs> much of a lift. There. My next character will be from New Jersey and she will talk about the diners constantly. There you go. Oh my gosh. I love it. I love it. And she'll Thank hang you. out with Chubby Checkers and do the twist. Yes. Exactly. Why not? <laughs> and love Bon Jovi more than life itself. Yes, exactly. There you go. You know? Although you don't have to be from New Jersey to love Bon Jovi. So, you know, there's no, that. so much truth in all those lyrics, you know? It's like, yeah. <laughs> so it's your life. It's your life and it's now or never. And you know what? I don't know if copyright wise I'm allowed to say that. So, OK, moving right. on. We will we'll uh, just pretend like that didn't happen. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> mm. Copyright on lyrics, man. OK, so as much as I love reminiscing about the awesomeness and the behind the scenes of New Jersey, we are here to talk about you and your writing and your book. So let's dive into that. 